Psalms 89, verse 34. And it reads, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Rakahakwadash, Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweshai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweshai, Yahweshai, meaning He is the deliverer, He saves. Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach all and rule all who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathiam, listen and listen and learn and sincere in the truth and in silence. Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathiam meaning sisters. Shalom meaning peace be unto you. All right, we'll get right into it. Psalms 89, verse 34. My covenant will I not break. Right, covenant, agreement. The agreement between the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and the house of Israel. Right, it says here, the Lord's covenant with David and Israel's afflictions. Right, so the Lord has an agreement with one set of people. Right? One nation. Psalms 89 verse 34. My covenant will I not break. The Lord's letting you know he's not going to break his agreement. Right? Scriptures say, ah. Uh, Romans 9. Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 11. Romans chapter 11 verse 2 and it reads the Most High hath not cast away his people Israelites which he foreknew right foreknew let's look at the word foreknew the Lord foreknew his people who are Israelites what does foreknew mean Strong's G, 4267, Praginosko, Praginosko. To have knowledge beforehand, to foreknow, of those whom Yahweh elected to salvation, right? To predestinate of those whom the Most High Power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, elected to salvation. You see that? To predestinate. What does predestinate mean? Right. The covenant is not for everybody. Predestinate. In theology of the Mosai to foreordain to foreordain by a divine decree or purpose someone to salvation or eternal life as a past partic participle adjective from past participle stem of church latin predestinare determined beforehand predestinated predestinating right this is not you can't just you can't, you can't, like what, what a wacky tacky Christian like to say, I'm saved. 
I found the Lord. You can't, <laughs> you can't find the Lord. You have to be predestinated. The Lord knows you beforehand. Right? Of those whom the Most High elected to salvation. Right? The game's rigged, man. You wacky tacky Christians out there, man. The game's rigged. Psalms 89 verse 34. My covenant agreement will I not break. The Lord's not going to break it. Nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. The Lord's not a man that he should lie. He's not going to alter the thing that has gone out of his lips. The covenant. Alter. For you wacky tacky Christians. Second self, counterpart, 1530s, a Latin phrase, a second self, a trusted friend, alter an ego, alter, to change something. Yeah, this is it right here. To change something. Right, you see that? Make different in some way, right? So the Lord is not going to make different or change his word. What does it say in Malachi? Ah. Malachi, uh, I think it's three, right? Romans 11, verse 2. The Most High hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew, what ye not, what the scripture saith of Elias. Elias is the Greek word for uh, Elijah. How he made interception, how he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, right? So the Lord is dealing with who he foreknew. Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. Right, that's what uh, 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 Elijah said. Uh, Elijah said, right? But the point being, the Lord, the Lord's dealing with his, fore, foreknew his, Oh, where's that scripture? Malachi 3. I change not. Right, because you're a wacky tacky Christian. Oh, that's the Old Testament. It's done away with. Malachi 3, verse 6. And it reads For I am the Lord Yahweh. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob. Are not consumed, right? So what was written in the Old Testament still stands, man. Right? It says here the Lord's not gonna alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. Psalms eighty nine verse thirty five. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David, the house of David. The elect, Lord willing were of that number. His seed shall endure forever. And his throne as the sun before me, right? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai will sit on the king, on the throne of King David. Right? Forever. Right? What does it say in Daniel 2? Daniel 2 verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the Most High power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. This hasn't happened yet. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. Right? All nations, all kingdoms are going to, are going to be under the house of Israel. Beginning with Yahweh Shai. Tricking down to King David. Trickling down to the twelve. Trickling down to the 144. But it shall break in pieces. And consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. Right forever. There's going to be no end to the kingdom that's coming. The kingdom of Israel. On earth as it is in heaven. Right. Let's get a 
Sound 105. Sound 105 verse 8. And it reads, He hath remembered, He hath remembered His covenant forever. Right? The Lord hath remembered His covenant forever. Right, the title the title is the Lord's wonderful works in behalf of Israel. Psalms 105 verse 8, he hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to th to a thousand generations, which covenant he made which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, right? So the Lord is only dealing once again you wacky tacky Christians. One nation of people, man. Since we quoted it. Numbers 23 verse 19. The most high power, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Right? The Lord is not a liar. And his son, Yahweh Shai, is going to come. And lay waste to this place, man. He's not going to turn back. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? Right, so everything containing these scriptures is going to take place. is going to happen, man. There's a lot of prophecies in the Old Testament that haven't happened yet, man. So how could the Old Testament be, be, how could the Old Testament be done away with? You wacky-tacky Christians, man. Right? Galatians 4. Points in 5. Galatians 4 verse 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent forth the Son, Yahweh Shai, made of a woman, Made under the law, right? Yahweh Shai came through the th th came through the womb, birthed, came through the birth canal, birth breathed his first breath is his, his first breath of air, wisdom of Solomon's chapter seven, right? Made of a woman, made under the law, under the law, right? Under the law. Here's the point. To redeem them that were under the law. Redeem who? Who's under the law? Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. You go into uh, Psalms 147. Psalms 147. Right, the Lord's only dealing with one nation. Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Israelites, Israel being a people before a place. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Right? The Lord showed his word and gave his statutes and judgments, his statutes and judgments to the Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. He hath not dealt so with any nation, right? The Lord's not dealing with no other nation, man. He's dealing with one nation of people. Right? And as for his judgments, they have not known them, right? You other nations don't know that you don't know these laws, statutes, and commandments. You don't fall under the law. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Back in Galatians 4, verse 5. To redeem them that were under the law, Yahweh Shai came for the Israelites. The Israelites are under the law. That we might receive the adoptions, Salakia. That we might receive the adoption of sons, right? Our way back is through Yahweh Shai. That's it. Right? 
And Yahweh Shai only came for the Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. You so called indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called Negro, and speckled bird. Those that look like the other nations. But their spirit goes back to Abraham, Isaac, or Jacob. Psalms 135, verse 4. Let's read this in the NLT. Let's see what it says in the NLT. All right, some covenant scriptures, you know. NLT, for the Lord Yahweh has, cho has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel for his own special treasure. Right? Israelites, a special treasure unto the Lord, near, near, near unto him. NET, indeed the Lord Yahweh has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel, to be his special treasure. Possession. What does possession mean? What does possession mean? Right? For you simple, wacky-tacky, lost-in-the-sauce Christians. Possession. Act or fact of holding, occupying, or Owning, right? Possessed material or landed property, right? Israelites are the possession of Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai, right? Right, so with that, I pray you're edified. I don't want to say Stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash, Shalom to the hopeful elect.